guys, welcome back to more This Bed We Made. So it looks like everything is connected. All the people staying in all of the rooms are somehow connected to each other. And honestly, it's super confusing. And I'm pretty sure I must have missed a bunch of clues as well. So I'm not sure whether we're actually doing well or not in this game. But I guess we'll find out. So let's get started. Okay, we're back. Have I checked the break room? I think I left my keys there during my break. Huh. Okay. Clues. I know we are supposed to make the other key. Find the candles and all of that jazz to make the other key. Okay. Oh, interesting. We didn't really check the clues we got from 507. Candle stash plan. <laughs> okay. Guess we are going. This is the first time we're actually in this room. Actually, no, we were here uh, earlier as well, but that was only a, a cutscene. But this is the first time we're actually in the room. <laughs> Someone drew over it, look at that. <laughs> Made a cloud. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Wendy is fighting with someone. Now's not the time to pick up Smokey and Sophie. Can't interact with this. Can't believe that I fell in love with you. Wait, okay. What? It's the same newspaper. Can't clean up things here. Uh. Seems like it's a note that being passed around, right? Book club, okay. Tuesday 7. Hmm. Have you heard there's a famous movie director staying in... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yes, I was there when he checked in. I don't know who he is, but he must be pretty important. Hmm. 602. He's staying in 602. J, Y, and S. James Dean is dead. Some people are playing cards. Don't worry, Gossiper. I'm coming back to you. I still haven't learned all of Gracie Jones' secrets. This is my table. This is probably Beth's latest project. It's really cool how she has an eye for this kind of thing. It's actually very interesting. So she likes to maybe... Or she wants to be a fashion designer? Clothes designer? I don't know. I don't always get fashion, but... Vague. <laughs> so vague. Half the pages haven't been cut out. <laughs> Chloe. Key. My keys. Gotta hold on to these tight. Pick up. Mm. What is that? What is it? Oh, it's a scorecard. Okay. So they were keeping tabs on the on the scores. Fair enough. Oh. To all employees, it has come to my attention that several guests have complained about a member of a staff going through the going through their belongings. I want the person behind this swiftly identified and reprimanded. Should no one come forward within a week, oh god. Punitive measures will be taken against all of you? F Damn bro, I need to be like 
careful. I don't want everyone to pay for my stupid shit. It's unfair. I want my Tupperware's back. Can't open. This is a pretty big break room, actually. So I came all this way only for my keys. Hmm. It would make sense for Rebecca to keep her candles by her workstation. By her workstation. The laundry. What is that? Mr. VIP is really getting to Bobby. It's a long ass letter. I hope you manage to calm him down, Reb. The last thing the Clarington needs today is a murdered guest. Ooh, murdered guest. Really? That's all? Uh, I don't care who he is, how rich he is, how famous he is. <laughs> the VIP guest at 602 is a goddamn psycho. Uh... I should have told him he's disgusting and I hate him. I thought of spitting ugh, in his next meal. Hmm. Okay. Did we miss anything else? I don't want to switch. I'm no waste shit. The washing machines are not broken. The problem comes from the... Pipes, they're completely frozen. Interesting. Of course, he only cares about renovating the parts of the hotel the guests can see. Hmm. Okay. Nothing to interact with? Oh, this is her corner. Wait, wait. Oh, is this a, a movie script? Interesting. Change title, not catchy enough. <laughs> Needs more murders. I'd kill a tornado? What? Why cut out the scene inside the nose? Okay. What is that? What is this? People with funny drawings. Someone's keeping a note of things they've found, I think. Kind of weird if you ask me. Oh, these are lost items. Movie script is from 615. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Guess that's... Oh, can I open this? No. Okay, let's... Can I open all of them individually? I can. Nothing there? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. There's a kettle inside. Can't see anything, okay. Nothing. This has to be it, right? Yes. Inspect. Stash uncovered. Reb, you won't mind if I just take one, right? Got a candle. Now. What next? I got a candle. Can I open these as well? Nothing. 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 More nothing.
Fine, bro, fine. Guess we're done. Wait, what were we supposed Let's to do? see if Beth is around. Oh, yeah, Beth. Wait, what? Why is this marked in red? Didn't I, like, check all of them? Don't know. Oh. There you are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, when I was little, we had padlocks on many of the farm's sheds. My dad would always lose the keys, so one day he made a mold of them using wax and plaster. I was Ooh. thinking of doing the same. Are you sure it's gonna work? Absolutely not. But hey, I guess we won't know until we try. Absolutely yeah, not. You're right. So let's do this. Oh, we are going to like a lot of effort to get that key. Okay. To start, we need to pour the wax from the pot. Okay. Have you done this before? You're a real pro. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, time to put the key into the wax. Let's give it a few seconds so the mold really takes form. Okay, I think you can remove it. All right. Well, we're almost there. Just pour the cup of plaster into the mold. Seems easy enough. All right. Now we wait for it to dry. How long do you think it's going to take? I don't know. I guess we'll keep poking it every now and then. I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? <laughs> Indeed. But I like it. It's rare that this job allows me to use my creative side. Your creative side? Well, granted, this key won't end up in any museum, but <laughs> I enjoy the occasional artistic endeavor. Look at us chit-chatting. Like drawing? Oh, God, no. I once drew a dress that everyone mistook for a birthday hat. <laughs> I never drew again after that. What about you? Haven't I seen you drawing in that journal of yours? Yeah, I doodle a little. It's hey, mostly you just writing, show me though. one day. I'd love to see your art. I wouldn't call it art. Oh, True. I'm sure you're underestimating yourself. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> All right, then. I won't insist. She's so what pretty. What do you like to draw, anyway? It's kind of silly, but I've started working on this little comic in which I imagine my life as a celebrity. A oh, celebrity. we didn't see that. Yeah. I've always found the lives of famous people so fascinating, you know? And Interesting. I kind of envy them sometimes. All the drama, the excitement. Yeah, because we're really lacking in drama and excitement today. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's the exception. I'm sure there's something else in your life that excites you. Well, I do like sailing. Excuse me? You sail? On a boat? <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> I used to. With my grandpa. But when he died, we had to sell the boat to pay off his debts. Oh, oh that's sucks. too bad. I would have loved to go with you. Is she flirting with me? I think she is. Oh. Maybe it'd be possible to borrow a boat for a day. I think one of Grandpa's friends still has his. Really? That would be great. I just love trying new things. <laughs> look at us floating. Hey, look. I think it's dry. I can't believe it worked. I could not have done this without you. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> But will it well, really work? I should get back upstairs before Bernard notices my absence. If he hasn't already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and uh, be careful while turning it, okay? You wouldn't want it to break inside the lock. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll be careful. Thank you for everything. No problem. Is Plaster really that strong? I've got two keys now. Let's test them out. I didn't even think plaster can be that strong. Shouldn't I get rid of this? Yes. We don't want evidence. Still can't open this. I have to go all the way up and see if the keys work. 
This is a lot of work, bro. A lot of work. Oh. Really? Really? <laughs> Just closed on my face. this oh god did you see that why is this door always open can i close it 507 right back to 507 to try yeah. this key double this I one it works uh we already checked everything i think yeah be careful sophie you don't want this key to break. <laughs> I'm scared. <gasps> oh, shoot. <gasps> what? Where? Okay. Should it broke? F what am I supposed to do now? I like my favorite bar. This one was black. Her alliterative name will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. Interesting. For the first one, take the first two. For the last one, take the last two. What? For the first one, take the first two. Uh... For the last one, take the last two. Is it words? Unlike my you back? I don't know. Two five letter words are the key, both related to our history. I noticed yours was pretty worn down. Wait, what is happening? Okay. I guess that's it. Oh no. I hope you get better try to rest today. I will bring you soup. Oh. oh. Marcella invited you to the movies. Let me guess. You said yes. Okay. Oh, all I can do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. They definitely are having an affair. Doris Day. That's an alliteration, isn't it? Doris. Oh. Okay, hang on. I don't know what this is for, but I will keep it. <laughs> Okay. Uh. Six months since I left, okay. Ah, uh, that's done. Inspect? Okay. Wait, what? Can I take that? No? I don't know. No! <laughs> There's nothing. I can't take it back. They'll know I was here. F this is the dumbest shit ever. Is there anything else? Around. What is that? What is that? Is that a wristband? Greta. So it must be a pet. A cat named Greta. G-R. Wait, what? So G-R? 
An IS. What, did, what, did, what is it for? It's a cat. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. How do I... How can I leave it like this? So, GR from Greta and IS from Doris. Gree? Could that be the code for the case on the bed in Ooh, Final 9? Oh, I got it's it. It's worth a try. But I can't believe I'm leaving this like this. This is ridiculous. Shouldn't I just take it? <sighs> I should take the keys. They'll know it's me. F 509, it said, no? So G-R-I-S. Okay, okay. Can't believe I left it all there. So dumb that is. Uh, G. R. I. S. Okay. Typewriter? That novelist, Bridget Boswell, is actually you, Marcella? Oh! What the fuck? Interesting. Oh, Anne. Murder might be a bit much, but you deserve some kind of justice. Mm, you would have comforted me if only Louis was Louis was half the man you said. Oh, Hector is okay. Interesting. I do like a happy ending. I just hope that's where your story is headed. So Anne has been light writing letters to Marcella. Oh, so you came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary. But all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Louis to scar every hotel guest room, guest book in the region looking for me under his surname. So I've registered under the new... Oh, okay... Interesting. Why will I throw away though? I'm not throwing away shit. After all this, turns out you're a fan of Bridget? Of Marcella? That's a lot sweeter than I expected. Hmm. I'm glad you were able to open up to Marcella like this. Everyone needs someone to talk to. So Morgan is also a fan. An advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. Oh. Interesting. Bro, there's a lot of information. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, Lindsay's a man. Yeah, I guess it was presumptuous of me to think otherwise. Presumptuous indeed. Maybe this one also has something. Yes. So the symbols I've been deciphering, you invented them back in the day to keep your love secret. That feels really special. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, I think we're done. Let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz are some kind of star-crossed lovers? Looks Seems like, like it. it. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Well, I may be able to help with that. Really? 
How? Oh, some mail arrived earlier. Oh my For god. <sighs> this seems very illegal, man. Hmm. I wonder what's in it. We could open it. I mean, that's kinda illegal. As I said. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Well, too late. I've always known I would end up. What the one. F <laughs> so it's three train tickets. And uh oh, there's a tourism pamphlet for California. So oh, they are running yeah. together. Well, They're running away. Sense. They're loping. Much more progressive there than it is here. So Anna and Marcella want to go there to live their love freely. Anna Along with Michael. Marcella, huh? You three are best pals now? <laughs> well, after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but what about Mr. Morgan, though? I mean, Paul. How does he fit into all of this? I mean, hired him. I think Marcella hired him. I found some letters Paul wrote to her. He said that her proposition took him by surprise and that he'd need an advance on his salary. What did she hire him for? To investigate her own affair? I'm not sure. I didn't find the letter he was replying to. And why did he have those pictures of you anyway? I Very good I question. Sure, but I don't think it was ever about me. It's always been about Anne and Marcella. Exactly. Hopefully. Well, it feels a tad anticlimactic, but who needs drama, right? <laughs> At least it made our day pretty interesting. <laughs> it sure did. You know, after today, I think I get why you're so interested in the lives our guests lead. I try to forget they exist as soon as I'm done interacting with them. <laughs> but once in a while, it's nice to remember that, well, even the most put-together person could be an absolute mess on the other side of the door. Yeah, you never know, right? Ooh, oh my god, floating, floating! What about you? Who is Beth Lambert when no one's looking? I like to think that with me, what you see is what you get. But maybe an extra Snoopy super sleuth could uncover... She's flirting back, bro. Maybe ones I didn't even know I had. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Look at that. Come see me when your shift ends, all right? We could leave together. If you oh. want. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. A sleepover. Oh my god! A pillow fort on the mezzanine. A pillow <laughs> fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. I know, but isn't my way so much more fun? So well, much more fun. We could take a page out of Michael's book and decorate it, and then spend the night throwing stuff at Bernard whenever he comes through the lobby. <laughs> what the no, fuck? Now you're talking. <laughs> Okay, now what are we supposed I to do? I just have to finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. That ringing. Sounds like the elevator doors are jammed. Okay, tasks for the day. What am I even supposed to be doing? What? Letter, letter. Something in 507 we haven't checked. Correspondence letter. Guess that's it. Can I throw away the food now? I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. All right, if you this say so. Practically untouched. Okay. Going towards the el. <gasps> That's blood. I guess we are in the murder bit of the murder mystery. <laughs> oh my god. I see a leg, a foot.
the f was that? Is it? Be careful, you don't want to be stepping on that blood, bro. You're gonna drag it everywhere. Mr. Cruz? Oh! Don't touch him! Now your fingerprints Mr. are on him. Cruz. Come on! That was child's play. Oh, good. What happened? You don't know? Mr. Cruz's life insurance policy. Why did he have this on him? Very interesting questions. Marcella? Okay, let's not jump to conclusions. Oh, that's the only thing. Is this about Paul? Does that mean... We will look into it. However, I regret to inform you, we cannot divulge a guest's personal information. As I'm sure you will understand, we're very concerned with the guest's privacy and our staff prides itself on discretion. Oh. I mean, that's it. Oh. Uh, don't step on that stupid blood, please. Please let there be someone around who can help. <laughs> What the f I have to get the power back on. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> now this is just creepy. Okay, I know where the power thing is. It's on this side. Oh, mean. It's in here. I remember it. I already have a screwdriver. Mm, it's too big. I guess I'll need something pointier. Shit. Like what? Lockpick. Uh. Fifth floor. We got so much clutter around. Think, Sophie. Think. What can you use to open the fuse box? I don't think there's anything here that would help me. Shit. Lockpick. Might need this to restore power. Oh, well, I'm taking it. What is that? Can I? Can't interact. Where the f on earth will I get a lockpick, bro? Is it here? Why will someone have a lockpick? Don't know Maybe what to be doing. Ice pick could pry open the ice box. pick. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ice. F where will I get ice? Where was there ice on this floor? I don't think I came across any ice on this floor. Don't know. I'm scared of stepping over this to go there. Nothing I can do. Hello? Is anyone in? F this is scary. Just walking over the blood Hello? everywhere. I I need help. More blood. Oh, I see that. I see the pick. Neat. Do you think they used the ice pick to, like, kill him? There was definitely a fight here. Some pearls. These look like Marcella's pearls. What happened here? Was it her who killed? I'm not throwing away shit, bro. Okay, a cigarette case. A, B. 
and Beaumont. So they were both here at some point. Hmm. Honestly, picking up that lockpick doesn't seem like a good idea. I'll be honest. I'm scared to go close. <laughs> Don't step on whatever that. What is that? Too far from it, I think. There's a camera. Oh. I'm gonna throw away. It could have photos of me. Okay, I guess we're okay. picking this up. This looks like something I can use to open the fuse box. I'm not gonna go close. I don't want my fucking footprints on that fucking thing. There's a letter. Too far. How do I pick it up without like stepping on this stupid thing? I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. I mean, if anyone knows anything... The fuse box. Just get to the fuse box in the janitor's closet, Sophie. It's not far. It's not far. And if anyone knows anything, you know you don't leave your footprints and blood next to a crime scene. That's like the most stupid thing you can do. Menu. Ice pick. That worked, thank God. Now, to get the- Oh, sorry. Back. <laughs> Getting the fuse box open was half the battle. Now I need to take a look inside and fix what needs fixing. Oh, no. Eugene. What I would give to have you with me right now. <sighs> Your note will have to make do. Uh, check fuse box for required amperage of each socket. Remove all blown fuses from sockets. Usually blackened. Screw in new fuses. Amperage is correct. Flip. Big liver. Oh my god. Black it. This is the one, right? Remove it. What is that? How did this end up here? Safe combination. Not much use without the rest of the code. What the fuck? That's crazy. Fifteen amp, right? How do I know which fuse is what? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this A. So I need A. Type A. Type A. Okay. I think that's it, right? That's the only thing. Mm, no power. I think I need to change all of the blown fuses. Which is the blown fuse? Oh, I got it, I got it. The name is not there. I guess that's why it's blown. Okay, this one is 30. So type G. Okay, and this one is 20. So type S. How does Eugene do this again? Wait, what? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Do I not have any more fuse? <laughs> the f Where on earth will I get a fuse? I'm confused. 1515 type A type G
Type S, that's what it says. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. I am confused. Is there anything here? I need one more fuse though. Oh wait, what the f Really? Ugh, so much for looking around. Okay, type S. Right, it should work. Oh, man. I do not like this, okay. Power's back. Now, I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. What do I... Don't know, bro. Do I just like... Seeing the light. Straight to the reception and police, okay? Let's go! Although I don't know, man, I want to read those two things that are there, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to step on the blood. Do you think I can? I mean, I tried earlier. It didn't work. God, it's like still far away. How do I do this? I guess I will. Please, please don't step on it. Ah, it's picked. Poor Paul. Lindsay's death really hit him hard. He hasn't been in the best headspace. Mm. Big cities always make me feel lonely. So then he was in relation or he was in love with Lindsay. Lindsay was a man. So Paul just needed to pass the time while Marcella was away. That's why he was observing us. So that also means that their relationship was looked down upon at that time. Paul was hiding out right here. Did he ever find the person who was sneaking out at night? So it's a diary, okay. Oh. 9.45? So... Anne and Marcella met here this morning while I was busy cleaning room 504. Interesting. That's a lot of information. Looks like Paul had to stop writing in a hurry. What happened? I was listening to the radio at the time. Did the music drown out the noise? Interesting. Where is Paul, do you think? Do you think I can reach that f I can't? <laughs> Just gonna go like a little at a time. Uh, don't think there is any other way to do this, to be honest. I might be fing myself over, but I don't know what else to do. Oh, so Paul's work with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator to help her with research for her novel. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Paul really got into his role. Ah. Oh. He followed Marcella to Montreal even though she was done with her research. What the f***? That seems a little excessive. Okay. Okay, let's go. F please, did I step on it? I stepped on it. Oh. <gasps> I stepped on it. Oh shit. F These are definitely my footprints. F They're gonna fucking catch me. Oh wait, sweet. So, uh. 501 can't open 509 
Didn't I open 519's safe? I don't know. They're gonna catch me, you know it. My fucking footsteps are everywhere now. Ugh, 509. Maybe I can open 509's safe before going down. I just need the last digit. I can figure out the last digit. Or did I already check 509? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oh, I did not open this. Hold on. Hold on. 509 is 234. Okay. Wait, what? I don't think this is correct, though. <laughs> oh, it's only half, though. Wait, there was... There was something. Wait. Uh... Two, three, four. Oh, I am not sure. Mm. Three, four. Let me just check something. Hold on. I'm just as confused as you are. There was numbers in some card somewhere. One eight two four though, that doesn't I will write it down just in case. Wait, I see lipstick. Yeah. Cherry brand. Brandy. So the orange lipstick and the red lipstick. He he he. What is that? Don't know. Okay. I think I'm gonna stop it here for today and we will figure out what the combination to the safe is. I mean, I don't know if we'll be able to figure out, but we'll see if we can find the combination of the safe in the next one. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!